The health care debate is heating up as the Colorado health insurance option advances in the House. Our Nightside reporter Rob Hagan is live in the studio with the details. Rob? That's right, Jillian. The new public health insurance option could be a game changer for thousands and thousands of Coloradans. But one lawmaker, one CEO, and hundreds of doctors, nurses, and labor union members are opposing the biggest health care bill in state history. Colorado health care will change in 2023 if the health insurance option bills passed into law and change is an understatement. What this bill is really about is controlling the underlying costs of care as the mechanism to really bring down health insurance premiums. Starting in 2023, health insurance costs would be cut down almost 20% by 2025, forcing hospitals and staff to cut their costs. But one lawmaker says hospitals can only cut costs one way, and it'll hurt the quality of care. I really fear what's going to happen next. It's really easy to then cut doctors, cut nurses, because human capital is the biggest part of a hospital's budget. Part two of the bill reimburses hospitals 155% for taking a loss for taking public option plan patients. Right now, the healthcare industry can really decide how they want to meet those cost reductions. And those rates really only come into play if they don't. But Soper says most hospitals on the Western Slope need 270% to break even because of the pandemic. And he's not alone. If they force and mandate rates and mandate participation, um, are we going to have providers that are willing to take patients that have this particular uh, insurance plan? Community Hospital will build a big brand new $76 million, 130,000 square foot building and add it to their base of operations right here. But if the biggest health care related bill in Colorado passes, they might struggle in hiring the staff to support it. Recruiting primary care to this community, that's been such a challenge for us over the last decade, and we've been very successful in increasing that. I'm just worried about what that's going to do if physician reimbursement is such that we're not going to be able to attract the best and brightest physicians to the Grand Valley. Providers can be fined $5,000 for not seeing standardized patients, but hospitals will pay $10,000 a day for the first 30 days and twenty five grand a day after that. Healthcare costs have continued continued to increase and they're at an unsustainable level already. I can tell you this will be a very long debate. Representative Soper says the math doesn't add up. He says you can't lower insurance costs, increase hospital reimbursement and still balance Colorado health care system. It's just robbing Peter to pay Paul and Deputy Director Fox says the cost of health care keeps going up and has for years. And this will balance the equation for small businesses and rural providers. First on the Western Slope and live in the studio, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Jillian. Thank you so much, Rob.